सो हे गाइस वीडियो स्टार्ट करने से पहले एक क्विक अपडेट कि द डेडलाइन टू अप्लाई फॉर जी सॉक स्टूडेंट प्रोग्राम विल बी इन जनवरी एंड जी सॉक मेंटरशिप प्रोग्राम विल बी इन अप्रैल सो रिमेंबर टू अप्लाई एंड द लिंक विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट जर्नी ऑफ जिस कीरत to google at the age of 18 ki how he became a gsoc mentor yeah thank you so much hi noor for having me today it's pleasure to be here uh, hi everybody uh, just here at this side i am an open source research strategist and tech diversity community management specialist developing new and improving existing computer based technologies in the advanced open source ecosystem श्योर sure. सबसे पहले कैन यू प्लीज शेयर लिटेड अबाउट योर बैकग्राउंड तो इंडिया में नाइन्थ से लेकर आपकी जर्नी कैसी थी एंड व्हेन डिड यू यू नो वांटेड टू गेट इनटू टू प्रोग्रामिंग कोडिंग एक्सेट्रा तो नाइन्थ से स्टार्ट करते हैं okay perfect so uh, like when i was uh, in eighth standard like i was put into uh, my mindset like i had to prepare for the je stuff and crack the uh, entrance exams in order to get into the uh, good colleges after my 12th standard right so uh, you know like just like the other people i was i was also one of those people and uh, but at the same time i was always fascinated by the technology and i had my seniors who who had a chance to be a part of many uh, many mnc's programs like google coding program which is run by the google so i had a chance to uh, you know like uh, connect with uh, those seniors and be a part of those programs so i as i mentioned like i was always fascinated by technology and since uh, from the 8th standard i started exploring this stuff how the things happen how the things work uh, behind the scenes and this encouraged me to move uh, towards the next step exploring the outside world gaining some better knowledge the research knowledge in the field of technology and this is how i uh, you know like i went from being the noob towards the a better uh, research strategist so aapka like shuru se passion tha so in the beginning like your passion was mainly into computer science programming and technology right so that's how you got motivated to start your own organization i've heard about it so wo aapne kaise start ki can you please share yeah so uh, you know like i i remembered my time when i first made my account on the facebook at the age of around like i guess 14 and when i made my account on the facebook i was very much fascinated by the application and i always wanted to learn and see like how things happen under the hood like in in terms of social networking right and what if like i i i just asked myself like what if every individual every company have their own facebook they have their own twitter so how would it feel it like so this is what encouraged me to move towards the next step and uh, brainstorm the idea like what if we can have a kind of a social networking organization social networking project which would give a better glimpse to the external projects and the communities to use uh, for themselves in their own customized way so at the age of 17 uh, after getting in touch with uh, various founders various uh, sagacious people around i had a chance to connect with some of the great architectures uh, researchers designers who helped me to put into this effort and uh, brainstorm the idea and taking those things into consideration i got a chance like lucky enough i got a chance to start my own organization named as codino which is currently like i started uh, with five people and currently it has grown to more than like thousands of people so yeah it's it's pretty good like we have been making a good progress every year every after every phase and we are organizing lot of things around and helping maintaining better relationship so it's it is like a big company now with thousand people right yeah like i won't say it as specific company because we are not yet registered but yeah it's a kind of a organization i would say uh, where people works some of the people works voluntarily and some are being paid under some development programs so yeah and what are you doing currently now are you a software engineer uh Oh okay so uh, I know like this this going to be this is going to sound really weird so I am yet to get into the college currently so I'm not a full time employed uh, like somewhere or like I don't have a specific job but I work voluntarily and part time like with some of the organization and I am yet to complete my graduation yet Oh so uh, how old are you Abhulia uh, I'm currently 20 years old Oh wow Okay so it has got a really uh, like turning journey i would say uh, i came to know about open source like since google summer of code is a open source program so i just i just came to like i just came to know about open source at the age of 14 uh, through the 
program named as Google Coding, like I just I just mentioned, right? So uh, I was just contributing, and Google Coding is a kind of a program where you know, like where uh, like a pre-university student has to complete various kind of tasks, like under different categories, like research task, coding task, design task, development task, right? So uh, and I was always fascinated by the swags of the Google, right? I, I, I was, I'm one of, I would say like, I'm a, I'm a kind of person who always in a thirst of receiving the swags, right? So at the age of 14, I, I was always fascinated by the name Google and the swags sent by the Google, right? So this is what uh, encouraged me to participate in this specific program. And in order to avail the t-shirt uh, which has a kind of a Google tag, tag written over there. So one needs to complete three tasks. So and there was a kind of a category like uh, the specific target, like one needs to have at least two uh, coding tasks complete. And then like one of the and any any other task like be designing development or research task. I knew like, uh, like at the age of 14, I was a noob, like I did not have any knowledge of uh, technical stuff. And, but I need to avail those t-shirts, right? So what I did, like I did uh, one task on my own that was related to the designing task. And I just copied the two tasks uh, of the code, like which were coding tasks of some of the other students and then submitted through my own dashboard. So once I submitted, like after I submitted my, like all these three tasks, I was just hoping to receive the t-shirt announcement. So as soon as I just, uh, like submitted these tasks after few times like I just got a email by the uh, Google open source program managers stating that like my account has been frozen and I won't be able to participate in these types of programs in the further years right so this this was a turning point for me this was a kind of a lesson for me as well then uh, I did not okay. yeah so I did not okay yes so I did not stop myself over there uh, because I know like this is a mistake I had made and so I need to uh, like I need to learn from it and move ahead right so what I did I stepped uh, ahead of all these programs like I started voluntarily participating in open source organizations helping them uh, like helping them in strategizing the things in outreaching like in whatever possible manner it could be so I remember like I first uh, started with the sugar labs organization and they have they, they have the project named as turtle blocks which is the inspired version of the logo the logo we used to do in the uh, like lower standard class right so yeah so logo is a kind of a uh, inspired like like turtle blocks is an inspired version of the logo so uh, this is how like i was working around i was contributing and this organization is run by the former mit director uh, so his name was his name is like the Mr. Walter Bender, and uh, lucky enough, after a few years, like like within like around like half or like one year, I got an invite uh, into my inbox uh, stating that like I had been invited to Google Code in Mentor uh, to serve as a mentor in this specific program. So this was a kind of uh, like a kind of the proud moment for me because the program from which I was a band disqualified, I got a chance to uh, serve as a mentor in the same program. And I kept on working around, I built better relationships. I mentored like the young people, the young students around. So this is how the things went. And after a few years, I also got an invite for the Google Summer of Code mentor uh, by the same uh, organization. And my performance was uh, much valuable in, in this specific periods. And on based on those things, I got a chance to uh, be a part of Google Summer of Code Mentor Summit, which was held at uh, Sunnyvale, California, USA in 2018. And luckily, I had a chance to travel to the US and meet the people, meet, meet the same uh, program managers uh, like by whom I was... Uh, I got the email, right? So that was a cherished moment for me. And this is a moment which I would be cherishing my remainder of the life. So how much GSOC mentorship pay you? I mean, students ko pay karte hai, right? I think 10,000, around $10,000 in the US, right? 6,000, 10,000. But what about for mentors? Uh, 
yeah like like uh, gsoc has like uh, power purchasing parity calculation like they pay students based on those thing right but uh, to the mentors like they have uh, like they, usually they pay around like $500 for every specific project like right? suppose like if uh, if any organization has uh, like uh, two projects under their own organization in this uh, specific program so the google pays around like uh, like thousands uh, thousand of dollar uh, to the specific organization and then it depends upon the organization whether it wants like it should be go to the mentor slot or it needs to be served under the community for the various purposes okay and how much yeah. for aapko uh, kitna mila if you are comfortable in telling like uh i did not receive anything but i received a full sponsorship from the google uh, since from traveling from my home to the uh, like hotel uh, and to the uh, the place where this thing was like happened so everything from staying food and all those things were covered in my sponsorship it's an internship kind of program so mentor at the age of 20 banna at the age at the age of 18 banna common hai ki nahi uh well it is not that much common because the people you would see uh, mentoring the students are usually uh, like they they are like more professional people and they are at the age of like around 40 so it's not that much common but yeah like you will see people around at the age of 20 or 21 who are mentoring so yeah so what other tips you would ha- like to give out to other students jo mentor ya fir they want to you know get into gsoc program the only things i would like to highlight is that like you need to focus around the thing which you need to work on grab as much opportunity as you can because there would always be the different chances different opportunities around you which will help you build up your own skills as well as help you to attain some level but you should be more focused you should be passionate about the things which you need to work upon and so yeah and other thing is that like never make a mistake which i did like just copying the things so do whatever you want to do on your own and yeah be passionate about the things and be focused uh-huh. and what about the application journey so like did you and you got a, rather than you applying they reached out to you right yeah like there's not a specific uh, way of applying so the it, it's just a invite based uh, invitation Okay, so based on your achievement, they got to know somehow, and then they reached out to you. Yes, yes. Okay. Currently, what are your future goals? So, are you in college? Me, right? Which college are you in now? No, I'm not in the college yet, and but uh, I would be into the college very soon. Uh, so, I just hope that pandemic gets over very soon, so that people who are suffering around can have a better chance of getting back to their uh, like the things which they are working upon. So, yeah. Rick, talking about my future plans uh, i'm as i mentioned like i'm more passionate about the research stuff so i had a plan to uh, pursue the research stuff in basically in terms of ai and the embedded system in the coming future oh that's amazing well uh, thank you so much just kirat for sharing your journey as a gsoc painter it's glad to glad to have you here thank you so much sure thank you very much mm-hmm.